across the Missouri River. And here we come to Kansas. Yay! Wow, the Missouri is really cold. Woo. I guess so. Oh, there's the speedway right there. Oh, okay. Kansas City Motor Speedway, I guess? Yeah. Oh, oh there's TJ Maxx. Spirit Halloween, Taco Bell. In the half mile, turn right on North 109th Street. Man, this campground's going to have everything. I'm excited. Me too. I see a Walmart. Oh, look at that. Ah. <laughs> I think I just gave away the surprise. Oh, there's a Sam's Club on this side. Street. And here we are at our next campsite, Walmart. Yay! This Walmart has signs all over its parking lot, and they say, "Absolutely no semi truck, trailer, or RV parking." So we really needed some supplies, so we went inside and we talked with customer service, and they said that they have absolutely no overnight parking because they're right across the street from the speedway here in Kansas and I guess they're afraid that people would come here overnight for the races which makes sense but you know it's kind of a shame but either way we're not going to stay where we're not wanted so off we go Something we don't normally do is drive, you know, at dusk, night, we're normally parked at where we're going to be for the night. But with the uh, Walmart at the Speedway saying no overnight parking, we figured we'd put some miles on and head on down here into Kansas and see what's what. And we're going to pull into a place here pretty soon. Yes, Alright, yes. right, well, here we are at our hopeful next camping spot. Oh, look at that, we got a green arrow. It's coming up, yellow arrow. It's okay, nobody else is going. And here we are. Holy World! Approaching destination in 500 feet on the that's one night at Walmart in Fort Scott. We'll put some miles on, see a new state, maybe do something a little bit different today. Coming into a new state. Entering Arkansas. Entering Arkansas at a stoplight. Yay! Coming up on our next possible campsite. North Park Road. New sticker, Arkansas. Good morning, guys. This is not our normal campsite. Um, this is Prairie Creek. It's a Army Corps of Engineers place. Has over 100 sites. Does cost money. Uh, normally, it's $22 a night. But because we have the annual parks pass, it is only $11 a night. And there's not a ton of free camping in this area, so this worked out pretty good. Let me show you around. All of the sites here seem to be back-end sites, but all of them have these nice little picnic tables and fire rings and I don't know what that's for, and garbage hangs. Evidently the Army Corps didn't realize that, you know, uh, electric is on the same side as the water for an RV. Or maybe they thought you might pull in, I don't know. As you can see, it's a pretty good sized back-end. does have water here. pavement going around. We got the bathroom right there. We asked for a site that was in the clear and uh, they did a really good job. We were able to get satellite here no problem. Verizon's plenty strong. 
we've got this huge field behind me here. Uh, shower room right over there. Our little back end is right here on this little paved road and the road is a dead end. It goes up and it has a small turnaround at the top. I think we're going to turn around the RV before we hook up the Jeep when we go to leave. The sights here are not super level, but you know, if you've got jacks, it's no big deal. We are pretty high on this front jack. The wheel's almost off the ground, but not yet. Okay, I walked over here to the bathrooms and the bathroom right next to the RV is a vault toilet. Wasn't expecting that. No problem with that, but wasn't expecting it. The big bathhouse just up the hill from the RV actually does have flush toilets and showers and uh, it's actually warm inside. It's pretty nice. Right next to the bathhouse they actually got a little playground. Some of the reviews had said that it didn't have a playground. Well, it does now. They got dumpsters throughout the park. This is another one of the dead end loops over here. It has a whole bunch of little back ends, but uh, the picnic tables don't have covers, which is interesting. The water and electric are on opposite sides. Okay. And this is one of their standard turnarounds. You can see why I don't want to have the Jeep hooked up, you know, in case I got a backup to make the turn. Night. And this is only going to be the third campground since we left Florida that we are actually paying for. All in all, I think this is going to be a great little campsite. Um, we're going to be here for four nights visiting friends and checking out the area.